Make sure you subscribe to the ETS Learning and Communication Team's YouTube page so you stay notified when we upload new videos. The link to the text version of these instructions can be found in the description field below. This video tutorial will walk you through connecting a remote desktop to your workstation in your office. Before you begin, if you have not yet set up Portal 2 VPN Remote Access, please see the instructions listed below in the description field. You need to get your host name and IP address from your workstation computer. You will need to get this information at your work computer you intend to remote into. You cannot get this information if you are already working remotely. You must be on wyo.gov for this information, preferably cabled and not wireless. Please do not use WildGuest Wi-Fi for the following set of instructions. From your computer, click on the search icon. To locate the search icon, it is on the bottom left-hand corner of your monitor, and it looks like a magnifying glass next to the Windows icon. Click on that search icon, then type Command, and click on the Command Prompt app. Once the Command Prompt screen opens, type host name, you'll notice there are no spaces between host and name. Once you've typed in host name, press enter. The output will give you your computer's host name. Please write this information down. In the same command prompt window, type in IP config. Once again, there is no spaces between IP and config and press enter. This command will provide you your IP address. You're looking for the IPv4 address. Please write this down. Once you have that information, you may now close the command prompt window simply by clicking X in the upper right hand corner of the command prompt app. Please do not turn your work computer off. If you turn your work computer off, you will not be able to access it remotely. Next, we're going to look at how you connect to your computer from your home computer now. Before you begin, these instructions are for use after you have logged into Portal 2. So as you see in the video, please make sure you've logged into Portal 2. Once again, if you have not set up your Portal 2, the instructions can be found in the description below. Once you have logged into Portal 2, open the Remote Desktop Connection app. Click on the search icon, once again found in the bottom left hand corner of your screen next to the Windows logo, and type in Remote Desktop. Then click on the Remote Desktop Connection app. From here, you can enter either your host name or your IPv4 address. In this video, I'm going to be using my IP address. Once you've entered your IP address or your host name, click on the menu option that says Show Options. From here, you'll be using your Active Directory login. This is not your Gmail address. This is your username and password that you use when you log into your computer. This will be your computer login name. So type your username and click connect and enter your Windows credential pops up. Type your password and click OK. You may be prompted with another pop-up window that reads, the identity of the remote computer cannot be verified. Do you want to connect anyway? Make sure your host name or IP address is correct and once you've verified that, click yes. Congratulations! You're now connected to your work computer from your home computer. Here, you'll see your desktop with your icons, just like you normally would when you're at work. There's also a blue banner at the top of your computer screen that shows it's a remote connection. Once you have completed your work and you're ready to exit, you will need to exit your remote session. To do that, right-click on the Windows Start button located in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Once again, right-click on it, don't left-click, Right-click on that Windows Start button and hover over the Shut Down or Sign Out option. Do not shut down your computer. If you shut down your computer, your work computer will turn off and will be inaccessible via remote access. Simply locate the option that says Sign Out. Once you've clicked on Sign Out, click on the X on the right-hand corner of the blue banner to end your remote session. Once your remote session is ended, don't forget to disconnect from Portal 2. And once you've disconnected your connection to Portal 2, make sure you sign out. 